Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you how you can use multiple ESP32 CAM boards and use it with single blink application and monitor your home. So let's get started with this video. So for this project, you will need ESP32 CAM boards. This is FTDI module, a breadboard, some wires. Now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections to program our ESP32 CAM board. Now download the Blink application from Play Store, open this, click on your project, give a title to your project, I am giving ESP32 CAM monitor. Now we will select the board that is ESP32 dev board and click on create. Now click on add button and we will add image gallery. You can resize this according to your screen. Now we will add the virtual pin 1 to this. And we will give it a title. I will give room 1. Now we'll add buttons. I am adding style buttons. We'll select GPIO 14 and write room 1 for the button 1. And for other button, we will give room 2 title and we'll select GPIO 15. Now we will also add one more image gallery as we are using two ESP32 CAM boards. So we'll resize this and we'll select virtual pin 2 for this similarly if you are using more ESP32 camps you can add more image gallery and buttons now this is the code you can download it from the link in the description down below so here I have given some instructions I'll show you what you have to do with this first we will type our Wi-Fi name that is SSID we'll enter our Wi-Fi password now we'll add the authentication code sent to us by the blink while creating the app copy it and paste it as it is now first we will upload this code to our board one so i have written some instructions over here for the board one we have to comment down the lines 17 and 36 and uncomment the lines 16 and 35 so as it is already done right now so we'll select the board Now we'll select the huge app, we'll select the port and upload the code. Once the compiling bar reaches to the end, then you can press the reset button which is on the bottom of this ESP32 board and it will start uploading the code. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor, select the baud rate now remove this jumper from io0 and ground and again press the reset button now it's connecting to wi-fi yes it's connected and now here you can see the ip address you can copy this ip address and open it in the browser and you can see the live stream from the camera now we'll upload the code to the second board just remove the first board and insert the second board on the breadboard Connect back the jumper from IO0 and ground and connect the USB wire to your computer. Now for the second board, you have to do some changes. So for the second board, we have to comment the lines 16 and 35 and we have to uncomment the lines 17 and 36 as I'm doing. Just enter double slash to comment down the lines and when you remove this double slash, it will uncomment it. Now upload this code to another board, again the same process, press the reset button, then it will start uploading the code.
After uploading, open the serial monitor, remove jumper, press reset button, select baud rate and again it will connect to Wi-Fi and you will get the IP address for the live stream. That's it. Now I am 3D printing the case for our ESP32 CAM board. I will leave the link for this 3D printing files in the description down below so you can download it and print your case. So now our 3D printed case is ready for ESP32 CAM board. First we will connect this antenna in this case. And now we will place this ESP32 CAM board inside this case. And we will seal it up. Just put this wire inside this case. Yeah, and yes, it's ready now. We will connect the antenna. And we are done. Similarly, I have made another case uh, for the second board. Now both the cameras are ready to work. Now we will have to give power to this. I am using 5 volt from the power bank. Just connect it to the 5 volt and the ground pin of the ESP32 CAM board. As you can see. Now open the blink app. And when you press on the buttons below this GPIO 14 and GPIO 15 it will send the image to our image gallery and you can see the live images. Even you can see the live stream if you open the same IP address in the browser. So friends I hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos I will see you in the next one Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video